Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to another process video. Today I have another fun interactive circle spinner card featuring honeybee stamps that allows the mermaid to spin all around the card. If you've been following my channel, you know that I love these interactive cards. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this one. As usual, you will find links to all the supplies I used today in the video description below. Since alcohol backgrounds are all the rage right now, and of course I too had to experiment with alcohol inks, I uh, created this background when I was experimenting and it uh, turned out really pretty so I thought it'd be perfect for my underwater scene. So here I'm just trying to figure out what circle dies um, and sizes I'm going to need to create the um, slider portion of the card. And then I'm just going to take it and run it through my die cut machine. Because I'll be making a 5x5 five five square card, I'm going to have to trim off these edges. I'm using the background that I cut out to use as a guide to glue down the center circle. And then I'll build my card from there. So here I'm doubling up some foam tape and cutting out a strip and as I'm adding it to the circle I'm staying away from the edge so that when the spinner disc is in place it won't catch on any of that tape. So here again when I add my adhesive foam to the base of the card I'm trying to stay away from the edge of that circle so that when the spinner element is in place it won't catch on any of the foam tape. And to ensure there is no stickiness, I'm just using an anti-static powder tool and uh, rubbing that on the edge of all the foam. Now that my card base is complete, I'm going to go ahead and stamp out my images using some Strathmore bristle paper. And then I'm just going to use my um, Jane Davenport mermaid markers to color these images in as I thought it'd be fun to color a mermaid in these mermaid markers. I find these Jane Davenport mar mermaid markers uh, very intense in color. So to have a little bit more control of my color, I'm using this acrylic block to the right hand of the screen um, to dilute my colors in and have a little bit more control as I lay my color and pigment down on the paper.
I noticed there was a few spots that I bled um, outside the line and I don't concern myself too much with that. What I do is take a, a clean water brush and then just blend that area out and then just pick it up with some paper towel. Then if you do not get all those spot, spots out, um, I'll take a white jelly roller pen afterwards and then just cover those markings up. To create the spin mechanism for this card, I've gone ahead and die cut eight uh, small circles and all I'm doing here is stacking three of them together simply because the well that I've created is a little bit deeper because of the double foam tape and this will just raise that spin or slider element up a little higher so that when the mermaid goes around the card it won't catch on any of the top elements of the card. And since Valentine's Day is just around the corner, I thought it'd be fun to turn this into a Valentine's Day card just simply by adding some hearts and then just stamping to the inside, I love you. And to finish up this card, I'm just going to add a little more glossy accents here and there. I did add it to the turtle and I'm just waiting for it to dry to add it to the inside of the card. finish up my card today I'm just adding some gold dots as details to the mermaid's tail just to coordinate it a little bit with that gold streak on the background and that's pretty much it for this card I'll just show you a super close-up of all the shine and shimmer and I'm going to just show you how it spins around and around making it such a fun and interactive card for the receiver for more information or details on today's card, make sure you check out the link below in the video description where I'll have a link directly to my blog post. And for more inspiration using today's stamps and dies, make sure you stop by the Honeybee Stamps blog.
So until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye.